Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your singles love reading for January 29th through February 4th. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. If this doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest, okay? This is for singles in love, looking for love perhaps. May not resonate. Like I said, just take what does. You may be feeling um, happy at this time. Okay, you may be feeling a huge relief of some sort. Um, or you may be just feeling like there's some kind of power struggles within you that are dissolving. Okay, you may be starting to feel happy again. After, after a period of heartache, of course. And there you are. Look at that. That's the King of Swords. I um, King of Swords. Son of a gun. King of Pentacles, which is you. Um, you may have av avoided some breakdown, some disruption in your life. Or you may be just getting over it, and that's what I think it is. I think there's been a disruption, there's been an upheaval that has caused you some stress, caused you some grief. It's actually a relief, okay? Believe it or not, whatever has fallen apart, you know, whatever tension there was, it feels like it's starting to dissipate, and it was really a relief. I, feel, I see your determination. I see that you are strong and that you should be really feeling in your own element this week, okay? I see your loyalty to something. I'm not sure what. We're going to get more cards, and I will zoom this in after. There's some kind of completion here. There is. There's like a secret's been revealed. Somebody got caught or something. Something came out. Some truth came out that uh, woke you up, okay? Something has happened. And it's actually a relief that it came out. Because you needed to release something, or you still need to, and you haven't done it yet, but you're really close to releasing something. Look at this. King and Queen of Pentacles right next to each other. <laughs> each other. This is absolutely a reading for you, Capricorn. I, you could be dealing with another... A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay, another earth sign. And I think there's a soulmate connection here. And I feel like it's finally being revealed to you. Something is being revealed to you. There's that King of Swords. No wonder I mentioned it. Let me zoom this in. You've been through a period of almost like a depression, despair, anguish, and you may have been feeling like you were going through a midlife crisis. Let me zoom this in before I go any further. Oh, that looks pretty good. You know, I see that you have this fear of being let down. You may have something you want to communicate to somebody, you know, that you want to reveal. Maybe it's your feelings, but your heart's been broken in the past. You've been rejected, so you feel like you will be let down. So it feels like there's a new beginning that could possibly start, but you're afraid, all right? You're afraid to, to go that route. That's what it appears. You're being called to just speak up, speak up, um... Do what's right for you during this time. Whoever this person is that is probably on the outskirts um, could could be a soulmate with that king and queen of pentacles in the same reading touching each other. But I think you're avoiding this person because you're afraid that it afraid of rejection. Okay, um, and you're just you know maybe you're even afraid um, of being attacked. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe for that's from another person. Maybe in the past you were with somebody who had that mentality where they were a bully. They were they criticized and they just all they thought about was themselves. So that brought on this this fear, this doubt that you have. I feel like you you would like to communicate with somebody, but you have this fear. I think there's a new beginning around the corner. Should you really speak up? But I, I see this fear of being let down, you know, that, no, 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 I'm just going to sit here and grow old alone because they're just going to reject me anyway. If 
but I, it feels like there's something going on behind the scenes. There's some kind of hidden force here that's trying to get you to speak up, okay? There's, but you're, you're letting your thoughts get the best of you. You are. You're letting your thoughts get the best of you, and you need to stop doing that. You need to be comfortable with your thoughts and speak up, okay? Um, I see that you're lonely. There's a, there's a uh, feeling of loneliness here. And the thing is, is that you have to step into your fear. I mean, the basis is, of your reading is the moon card reversed. There's some fears here and doubts that are holding you back, holding you back from this new beginning that needs to start, okay? Happiness matters, by the way. Remember I said about being happy? If you really want to be happy, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone and probably communicate with somebody. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it feels like you're not, you don't feel like anybody wants to build with you. Or that you, maybe it's you don't want to build with anybody. You know, that you can't build a firm foundation with anybody. I think you're feeling kind of down and out. You have these doubts and they're, they're overpowering you. Um... So that love, as long as you continue to have these doubts, love isn't going to come into your life. I think, I think that you want it. I see that you're wanting romance, but I think your your fear of rejection is holding it all back. Look at that. This is a this is an offer of love. There could be an offer of love that you either want to give or may receive, but you need to bring up your. Uh, you need to release the doubt. You need to release the fears. And you need to realize that you're worthy. Okay? Yeah. Your fear of rejection. It's like you're blocking love here. Okay? This is the um, hero font reverse. It's like you're blocking something. You're blocking love for some reason. For, for fear of it not working out. It's like, why, why, why do I want to get involved with something that's not going to be working out anyway? I don't need this grief. I don't need it. But you're ignoring the truth because you want it. You really do. It's like, it's really time. It's time to make this final decision. Do you want love or do you not? You know, it feels like you really, really, really need to speak up for yourself. I think you guys are thinking about somebody and it's possibly another earth sign. And you're being called to speak up and express your feelings to this person. That's what I see. This 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 two of swords is saying that you can't you can't hide forever you know you don't want to be alone right so speak up speak up right now you're trapped mentally it's true you're mentally trapped it's like you you're living in your own prison all right it's really time to free yourself there's no need to stay stuck in this spot your self-confidence is down it's like i don't have you don't have enough confidence to move forward you don't have enough confidence to communicate Okay, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Somebody could say no, and you could move on. All right, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I really feel like there's lack of action being taken here when action needs to be taken. Okay, it's time for you to be confident and have courage and speak up. I feel like many of you are wanting to communicate with somebody, and your inner guide is telling you to, but you don't have the strength, you don't have the confidence, the courage to do that. It's time for you to come alive again, all right? There is an opportunity for love here. There is, but you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. That's all there is to it, all right? You, it's time for you to follow your own path and be proud of all that you have accomplished, all right? And free yourself from these mental conflicts. Look, at they both have blindfold on. It's like you're just, because you don't want to see any... If, because you don't want to see any injustice, you just ignore it. I'm just going to ignore this and pretend that I'm okay. But the fact of the matter is you're not okay. I feel like for many of you, you want, some, you want something, but you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of it not working out. And so you're just living in this depression when love is could be had if you would speak up. Oh, the Six of Cups. Imagine that. Oh, right next to this. And this. You want romance. You do. You want romance. But in the past, you've been hurt so badly. 
okay? And I feel like there, it's here with the Six of Cups touching the Ace of Cups like this and this. It's like, oh my gosh. I think you're clinging to the, some past hurt that you have been in. And now you need to let that go because there's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity for love. It's like you have the opportunity. And this could be somebody you already know, okay? I think there's somebody that you already know, maybe when you were a child, you know, that is maybe they're observing you or you're observing them and you're being called to communicate. Step outside of your comfort zone. And that's what I really see unless you want to stay stuck, okay? If you want to stay stuck where you are, then don't, all right? It's, it's, it's really time for you to be proud of who you are, okay? I feel like you guys have lost hope. You don't be, feel inspired. You don't, you, haven't, you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. Some of you don't because it's reversed, okay? If this was upright, I would say that you do. I'm telling you that it's really time for you to have enough confidence, okay, to just step outside of your comfort zone. Look at this in a new light. Okay, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here should you speak up. I really feel like there's a, a love around the corner or close by, and you know who this person is. But the thing is, and there you are, that's, that's the devil, that's the, that is your card. Okay, the, the thing is, is that you have to, there's a, there's a tie here, there's, a, there's an unbreakable tie between you and another person, and you're being called to communicate, and you know who this person is, okay, so don't think, I don't think it's somebody new, I think you know who this person is, I think it's another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, could be a um, air sign as well, because we have that, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but I really feel like there is some karmic or destined tie that needs to be fulfilled. This also tells... Wait a minute. There's, there's, like, there's also a sexual attraction as well. I feel like there's a deep attraction between you and another person that's being ignored because of your fears. Or you may be stuck with somebody. I mean, this could be your ex. You could have an ex that is a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, that is has really rejected you in the past or really brought you down and made you feel like you can't love again because you don't want to be treated like that. That's what it is. I feel like you feel like you're unworthy because of an ex, how an ex treated you. Okay, so I feel like, and this could be that you are still attached to this person, even mentally, because of this Eight of Swords. You may be mentally trapped because of this person. Okay, but I feel like there is a new love out there, close by, if you can just let this person go. Goodbye. I don't need this. That was false anyway. It was just totally not meant for you it wasn't destiny it did not lead to happily ever after wish fulfillment just let it go because they brought your confidence down they brought your self-worth down they brought your self-respect down it's over it's over let that go and move on okay because you're you're missing a new opportunity by letting this person still rule your life it's time for a new beginning with this world card, all right? It's time for you to celebrate that as a lesson learned and move on. With the world card, it's a major new beginning. That cycle's over. It's done. Time for the new life. Time for the new cycle. Let it go. Whoever you are attached to in the past that is keeping making you feel like you're unworthy, it's over. Be proud. Be proud. Another naked person against a naked person. So it's about being proud of who you are inside and out the hard work pays off okay what you what you have you're a hard worker that's something to consider in this equation it is you are a very hard worker you have a lot to offer and like I said it's time to become alive again it's time to to stop resisting, okay? It's time to release this person from your past fully, completely, all the way and move on to the new chapter, okay? 
because where you've been has not served you. It was a dead end. But you're still holding on to that commitment when it's really time to let it go. Let go of the commitment. It's over. There's no need to be committed to that person. This commitment is over. It's time to move on to the next phase of your life, the next chapter. You were dealing probably with a fire sign that brought you down. Somebody brought you really, really far down. If it wasn't a fire sign, it could be any sign. But whoever you were dealing with, they really sucked the life right out of you. And now it's time for you to realize that there's a big, bright future ahead of you. Okay? Realize that the future is bright and that there's many, many other options for growth, renewal, communication, cooperation, compromise, and partnership, okay? There is a, your ships are coming in right now if you just look at them. Because where you are at, this person, they didn't compromise, they didn't cooperate, and they didn't work together with you. Let the past go. That's what this reading is about. Let the past go because you have a new beginning in love. Move forward, communicate with this person that you're thinking of, this new person. There's a new person. I think it's another earth sign. And I think that you would like to communicate with them, but your fears of rejection are holding you back. On the bottom is the Five of Cups. He's concentrating on the loss, not noticing the pot of gold behind him. Let go of the loss. The pot of gold is waiting for you to notice it. Okay? It's here. And it's somebody that you know. Okay? I'm going to get you an advice card. Interesting. A child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. This card comes into play for a reason. For many of you, you're not moving forward because of a child. And maybe that's where you need to be right now. This card came out for a reason. Maybe you need to love your inner child. That could certainly be the case. That could be the case. This could be your inner child talking to you. Telling you to move on. I feel like it's time for you to move on from your past relationship because there's new love here. And you know who this person is and all you need to do is communicate with them. I don't think that they will, will reject you. I think that they will accept your offer. That's what I think. That's what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.